Hi everyone and welcome to Discovery Days with the Oklahoma Hall of Fame in Gaylord Pickens Museum. We're so excited you guys are here to join us today. Uh, we want to take a quick moment to say thank you to our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation who make free family programming in 2020 possible. We have a great day in store for you guys. We're going to read a story by a local Oklahoma author called Cowboy Camp. We're going to make our own cowboy hats and we're going to learn all about an Oklahoma Hall of Fame member who is a cowboy in his own right. As you guys know, this is our museum located here in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We absolutely love this museum. We have lots of new exhibits and programs coming your way this fall. We are open right now, so come see us. We're open Tuesday through Thursday and the second Saturday of every month. We're also open an additional Saturday this month for our fall festival, so make sure you guys come down and see us on Saturday, October 17th. Our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people. So every day we work really hard to share the inspiring stories of Oklahomans with all generations because we believe that Oklahomans are changing the world. Today, our Oklahoma Hall of Fame member feature is Mr. Harold T. Holden. Mr. Holden, who's better known as H, enrolled in the Texas Academy of Art after a chance meeting while working in Houston. He began his career in commercial art after this and ended up directing Horseman Magazine. During this time, um, Mr. Holden taught himself how to become a sculptor. So he focused all of his uh, love for the, of the West, the American West, in his artwork. Because he depicts what he loves, Holden spends most of his free time in the cowboy way of life. And then he goes home and he depicts it in his artwork. So I wanted to show you guys some examples. This here is a piece of Mr. Holden's, a sculpture that he did. And this here is Mr. Holden right here. He joined us for a festival a couple of years ago and he's teaching a young boy how to rope. So here you can see the steer, the fake steer head right here on the hay bale. And this little boy, he's supposed to swing the rope like this. And then when he lets it go, the rope goes around the steer's head and that's how you, that's how you capture the steer. So we're gonna learn all about that in a new story called Cowboy Camp. So I'm gonna go ahead and show this so you guys can read along with me. All right, here is our book. Like I said, this is by an Oklahoma author named Tammy Sauer. So we're going to jump right in and see what is going on at Cowboy Camp. Okay, Avery kicked the toe of his boot in the dirt. He looked at everyone else at Cowboy Camp and knew he was all wrong. His belt buckle was too big, his hat was too small, his boots were too red, even his name was wrong. The other boys had tough names like Hank or Jimmy Jean. Who ever heard of a cowboy named Avery, he thought. Howdy y'all, I'm Cowboy Dan and I'm about to turn you little ragmuffins into cowboys, real cowboys, said the realest looking cowboy Avery had ever seen. By the time I finish with you, with you you'll be acting, walking, and talking like honest to goodness cowboys. First things first though, buckaroos, it's chow time. There's enough grits and beans here to give y'all a bellyache. Everyone dug in. It wasn't but a minute later that Avery discovered he couldn't stomach a single bite of cowboy food. He had to eat cheese and crackers instead. Who ever heard of a cowboy who didn't like grits and beans, he thought. Now that you've got your fill, it's horse riding time, Cowboy Dan announced. Let's hit the stables. Everyone saddled up. It wasn't but a minute later that Avery discovered he was allergic to horses. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo, sneezed Avery as he climbed onto his horse. Uh-oh, how are you supposed to ride a horse if you're allergic to it? He had to ride a cow instead. Who ever heard of a cowboy who was allergic to horses, he thought. All right, fellas, it's time to round up some cattle. Let me teach y'all how to lasso, Cowboy Dan said. Everyone started twisting and twirling their lassos. It wasn't but a minute later that Avery discovered he had a bad case of rope burn. He had to practice, practice with yarn instead. Whoever heard of a cowboy who got rope burn, he thought. See how bright red his hand is? That night, after all the other cowboy campers turned in for some shut-eye, Avery sat outside his tent and tried to think cowboy thoughts. It wasn't but a minute later that Avery discovered he wasn't alone. Out of the shadows stepped the meanest looking cowboy Avery had ever seen. Kid, psst, kid, a gruff voice said. Who, me, asked Avery. Yeah, you, I'm Bart and I'm here to put a stop to cowboy camp. Cowboy Dan and his gang of good cowboys are making it too hard to be a bad guy. You better tell me, kid, where can I find cowboy Dan? Avery had to think fast. He couldn't let anything happen to Cowboy Dan and his cowboy camp. Um, sir, this isn't cowboy camp. It's, uh, it's space camp. Bart squinted his eyes. Are you trying to fool me? Sir, asked Avery, do I look like cowboy material? 
Bart took a step back and sized Avery up. I don't know, but I am to find out. Here, eat this. Bart pulled a can of beans out of his saddlebag. All cowboys eat beans. Avery gulped. He took the beans and gave them a taste. Right away, he coughed and wheezed. Hmm, maybe you're any cowboy. You don't seem like a cowboy, seem to like cowboy food. Let me see you ride my horse. All cowboys ride horses. Avery swallowed hard. As he swung his leg over the saddle, he began to sneeze and sneeze. Hmm, maybe you ain't a cowboy. You don't seem to ride horses. Let me see you twirl my rope. All cowboys know how to lasso. Avery took a deep breath as he grabbed the rope. He yelped, ouch, this hurts. Remember the rope burn. Little fella, you're no cowboy. All cowboys eat beans, ride horses, and twirl lassos. This place can't possibly be cowboy camp. Wrestling rattlesnakes, I must have made a wrong turn somewhere. I gotta go. It'll be daybreak soon and time's a-wasting. He got rid of him because he's not a cowboy. It wasn't but a minute later that Cowboy Dan and the other cowboy campers came out of their tents. Avery, you're about the bravest darn cowboy I have ever laid eyes on, said Cowboy Dan. No one but a real cowboy could outsmart the likes of Bart the way you just did. Maybe he is a cowboy after all. Avery grinned. His smile was as bright as his his smile was as bright as his too big belt buckle. He felt brave. He felt amazing. He felt like a real honest to goodness cowboy. All right. Well, what a fun story about a young man saving cowboy camp. We're gonna jump right in now to craft time. We're gonna make our own cowboy hat. So go ahead and grab your craft kits here. We're gonna need our cut out of a cowboy hat our craft kit here, our envelope, and, and, a, and we'll also need a glue stick and a brown crown. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out here. All right, set that aside. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to color the whole thing brown. So that way, or whatever color you want to color it, I'm going to color mine brown. So that way, after we glue all of our pieces on, if there's some space showing through, it'll still be the color we want it to be. So I'm gonna color mine brown. Does anyone have a cowboy hat that they wear? I don't have a cowboy hat, but I do have some boots for when I go out to see, it, for when I go out to the horses. All right, so once we color this brown, we're gonna color the whole thing in glue. I'm gonna use a glue stick, but you can use Elmer's if you, well, you can use liquid glue if you want to. I will say you won't need a lot if you do that though. So don't go too crazy with the glue. If you use liquid glue like Elmer's, it might be easier if you put it on the pieces of paper we're gonna glue down instead instead of the hat itself. But if you're using a glue stick, what we're gonna do is we are going to put, take our glue stick here, and we're gonna put glue all over our hat. And maybe you only wanna do part of it at first, that might be what I do, is I'm just gonna do this part of it here. Just gonna do the top part. So now I've got the whole thing covered in glue. And now I'm just gonna take these and set my star aside over here. And I'm just gonna take these pieces and start gluing them down on my hat, okay? However you want them to. We have a couple of different colors. And remember, it can look however you want it to. If you need more glue, feel free to add some. We've got a couple of different colors. I'm going to put some of this other color brown in. Can mix it up a little bit. I think that'll go right there. Okay. Is everyone getting those glued down okay? All right. Good job, you guys. I can't wait to see everyone's hats. I'm going to put a little bit more glue under here. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna put some right here too to help stick this one down. And you can overlap, that's perfectly fine. 
remember, when we're doing crafts, you get to make it look however you want to. Okay, put this over here. All right, I'm looking for pieces that are shaped the way I want. I think we need one more right here. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to put glue down here on the bottom. Okay. All right, now that we've got glue all over the bottom, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cover it with all these pieces. Remember, however you want. Oops, it's a little sticky with all that glue on there. Okay. Okay, let's see here. What else do we have? I think I want this piece. And if you end up overlapping them quite a bit, you might find that you have a piece that you need to put glue on top of, kind of like I just did right there. So don't be afraid to add a little bit more glue. Now you guys can see what I meant by the color showing through. You can see my brown is still coming through a little bit here. Okay, this one is, here we go. I'm gonna put some glue under here. That way I can make sure that one sticks. All right. There we go. I think one or two more pieces and my hat will be just about ready. How about you guys? I think I want one more piece down here. I think I will go with this piece right here. All right, so my house is just about, my hat is just about ready. I'm just missing one piece, I think, and that is my star. So I'm gonna put glue on my star this time instead of on the hat. So I'm just gonna put the glue all over the back of my star, just like that. And then I'm gonna glue it right there in the center of my hat. Just like that. And you can put your star wherever on your hat that you want to, okay? That's just where I wanted mine. All right, so my hat is done. I'm gonna stop sharing this so I can show you guys my hat here. All right, there's my cowboy hat. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys soon and we will uh, see you next week for our next discovery. Bye guys. <laughs>